Oh, here we go. Hello. I had a spasm in my back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, you too. Yeah, looking forward to the session. It's going to be awesome. Me too. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy. So, just to show you inside, which I like. Ooh. This is fantastic. Isn't this cool? Yeah, it's a, literally a little micro studio. One which takes hot an hour to get ready for everything, so we're going to do yeah. this. <laughs> when I first sang, I was singing on a table. I think I was three or four when I sang on the table. I was singing a gospel song. It was, I think it was, Jesus, you are mine. And then I got a mic stand for Christmas, and then I went outside. I completely forgot everyone was there. Like, this was a whole Christmas lunch and everything, apparently. And then I went outside and I started singing, Where you're gonna go? Yeah, so it's a magic mark between the message of your song together with what we created, all needs to marry in the end. Very excited to work on this project. Very unique voice. Talia's got an amazing texture to a voice, you get a lot of feeling. Um, and I enjoy working on something different as well. A lot of the singers have got the same type of tone, the same type of voice, the same type of inflections, where she's got a very, very unique style, very much into the hip hop scene, but also a bit poppy. So I'm excited to see where this track's gonna go. From a production point of view, we're keeping the hip hop element, a bit of the Drake, a bit of the Shekinah, but we're also adding elements uh, that'll bring it to a bigger listener base. A lot of pop elements that we bring, a bit of acoustic guitar, a bit of bass, and we'll see where it goes. But she's got a beautiful voice, um, a very light, but also very emotional. <laughs> so that was, that was like... We just need to draw in here. <laughs> It's hot. Very hot. So I first met Talia when she was eight, going on nine years old, and she participated in um, a production that we did at our church, like an Easter production. And uh, she was the youngest member of the production, but something about her just really connected with me. So she's now ready. That's why we are here today in the studio recording her, her first song, self-written song. Um, she's now ready to, to start putting her stamp, her signature, her identity um, on the music and, and sending it out there. And I think, I really do think people are going to connect with it because they will connect with her, number one, because she's very real, she's very authentic. Um, she knows where she wants to go and who she is. Really feel it. I, I saw you thinking and, and I get that. What I hope my song would do is hopefully get through those people that think imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Like, I just, it's like, no, man. Maybe putting out the song would hopefully get the message out to people that I don't like imitation. I just firmly into that. Hopefully my song can get into those people's hearts and be like, I'm gonna be free to be who I want to be. I'm going to be my own person. I'm going to have my own persona and I'm going to pursue my future. So I can delete the old, the other two takes completely. <laughs> like somebody stepped on a hardy dust. Get up! <laughs> this is what I wanna do. I wanna sing. I wanna get a message out to people through a different perspective than talking and sitting down and having a boring conversation. I want you to have the message comes through with a little bit of beats and a little bit of oomph. Well done. Thank you. It's simple. The lyrics, straightforward, but it has a very strong and clear message of stop stealing my reflection. Find out who you are because that's where you're going to find happiness. Mm -hmm. 